Headline News. There are reports out now that Carmelo Anthony uh, potentially being traded for Kyrie Irving is highly unlikely because Carmelo wants to be a Houston Rocket. The only way for this to change is if Porzingis is somehow involved in the deal or if uh, Carmelo decides to move on from being traded for Houston then considers playing for the Cavs. So he doesn't want to play for the Cavs? He would rather play for Houston. Yeah, I think he should. I think so too. Yeah. But what does that say about LeBron? Well, I think it says a couple things. Houston's fun. Chris Paul, Harden, young roster, and I think a viable, you know, that's, I, if I, and Houston, no state tax. Houston's a fun city. Cleveland with old roster. I don't think. Oh, come on. The rest of the time we're talking about how Cleveland is the team that you're guaranteed to win a championship, and that's why Kyrie shouldn't leave. No, no. So now guaranteed to get to the finals. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Guaranteed to get to the yeah. finals, and that's why Kyrie shouldn't leave. So you're now okay with Carmelo saying he'd rather go to a team no. that's less likely if to get I, to the If finals? I'm Carmelo Anthony and I believe I have three years left, okay. I know if I go to Houston, Chris Paul and Harden are going to be there for three years. I know I can. I'm going to go to Cleveland. LeBron leaves, and I'm stuck in Cleveland. Not interested. Or he's really good friends with LeBron and knows he can get to the finals and maybe win a championship before he's uh, having to retire. I, I don't think I don't think Melo is a championship. You think he's more about the fun? I just I've never bought into Melo. I, he doesn't want to shoot threes. He's but I do think you can mix him in with Houston and when they play Golden State, Melo and Durant. It makes Durant play defense, which may hurt his offense. I mean, I think Melo actually. I'm not a Melo guy. I think Melo to Houston. I that it that to me is a really interesting pick because Houston now looks and says our obstacle is Golden State. And our real obstacle, now that we have great guards, we can handle Clay Thompson, Steph. Mm-hmm. Who do we have that can make Kevin Durant defend? Carmelo's the answer. Like I, Carmelo to Houston makes a lot of sense. Well, on on paper, I, I disagree. I don't think it does make a lot of sense because all those guys like to have the ball in their hands. But I've said this before. I think. They're all guys who have been in situations where they're just not winning. So maybe they realize, all right, hey, if I want to win, I'm going to have to put my ego a little bit to the side, share the ball a little more, and that's why it could work if they maybe can take down their ego a little bit. I just really am curious, what is LeBron's role in all of this? Because he's got Kyrie leaving. His friend Carmelo maybe could come to the Cavs. Is he having anything to do with that? And then also Chris Paul. There were rumors that he was trying to get him traded to the Cavs and get Kyrie Irving out. Um, Chris Paul was available, but then went to Houston. So what was LeBron's role in that, too? LeBron's a basketball player, and I don't think he should concern himself with deals. You're not saying that seriously, are you? All I know is (laughs) if Kyrie leaves LeBron, it's a mistake. And if Kyrie leaves LeBron, he is stuck with an old, expensive roster that nobody can defend and and be healthy on a night-by-night basis. Speaking of old, there are some anonymous coaches coming out in the NFL that say they expect Tom Brady to dramatically age this season. They believe it will be highly noticeable. Yeah. Why? I, I agree with this, too. Why? Like, What makes you think this is the year where we're all of a sudden going to see him Okay, age? what is one thing that I know and you don't? One thing. How to be a guy. Age. <laughs> and let okay. me tell you how it works, Christine. I literally had perfect vision. And then one night I walked into a steakhouse in Connecticut uh-huh. and there were ants on the menu. When you age, every guy listening to me, maybe women, I'm not going to speak for women, it happens fast. There's a stat in the NFL on wide receivers where, like, at 34, you fall off a cliff. I think, I think, and I believe this to be true, Tom didn't take many hits last year. Tom's about, remember what happened to Kurt Warner after he took one big shot? I think Brady is a bad Sunday, a couple of shots from I really do think he's going to, when you get to be 40, 41 years old, man, things change rapidly. You're the normal guy, but he doesn't treat his body like the normal guy. Like, what signs, if you're an expert in age, what signs can you see that tell you that next year is going to be the year that he dramatically starts to show his age? Well, coaches feel this way, and I do too. Anonymous ones who are very optimistic that Brady's going to show his age. All right. (laughs) These are a bunch of coaches, like, we're counting on When Tom does age, it will be noticeable. It, It will pop. You'll see it. 
I agree. We'll see it, but I don't know if it's going to be this year. Um, and finally, the Patriots are back in camp, which means we are getting questions from reporters to Bill Belichick, which is always one of the most entertaining things about the season. Uh, here is one of the latest questions to Belichick and his answer about going undefeated potentially in 2017. I was reading a national publication earlier in the week and we just had me wondering, would you even want to have to go with the Pearson death stare or just exhibit utter disgust if somebody asked you about your team being hyped to go undefeated this season? Yeah, right now we're just trying to have a good day here today. Get up to a good start in training camp. We're not really worried about, you know, all that's in the future that will come when it comes. I think it would have been better off reading the July issue of Nantucket Magazine. For what? For reading instead of talking about you guys going undefeated. Yeah. can do it. I mean, this I give that reporter a lot of credit because you might as well ask questions like that. You're never going to get anything good out of him. But Belichick just keeps a straight face the entire time. And you know he has to have something inside of him that he would do that Nantucket magazine. That, Either that or he was being forced to. It's that, like his once yearly promise to Linda Holiday. You know what, man? I've only seen Belichick in person like next to me once. It uh -huh. was at a steakhouse in Indianapolis. Yeah. Elmo's, St. Elmo's or something. And let me tell you something, if I ever saw Belichick in person, the first thing I would bring up is that magazine cover. Really? I think it's so funny. It it's is it's funny. literally the opposite of Bill Belichick. He was posing. It was just <laughs> gorgeous. Smiling in this beach scene. It was like my, when but, I, I, I would, that would be how I'd break the ice. But you you're know, the best looking couple I've ever seen in my life. You know that when you're married, or they're not married, but together for a long time, you have to make compromises and do some things that you might not normally want no to. No kidding. So maybe she's like, hey, I go through the entire football season for you. I need you to do a magazine with me. Oh, I guarantee you that's what happened. I will say, I, I once had an, an incident with Bill Belichick in a press conference. I've told you about this before. Was he mean? He, he screamed at me. Ooh. It was great, though. I, I didn't mind. Um, and then a couple years later, I was doing a basketball game, and he was in the stands, and they wanted me to do an interview with him. And Mike Tomlin was there, too. And so I went and I talked to both of them, and he was actually really cool off camera. It was very nice. Linda yeah. was there with him, too. Yeah. But uh, he did smile. I know somebody that knows him well and says, actually, in person, he can be very funny. I'm sure you have to be funny to keep a straight face in that kind of a question. Christine with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Lying News. Went to the Internet yesterday, and guess who was taking taking shots at me. Our next guest, Joel Klatt. He and Gus Johnson went to...